The Mad Pony Pi Menus plugin version 1.2 is finally out, and with it, finally arrives the most requested feature a visual representation of the Pi positions on your screen. Any Pi menu that you now trigger will give you a representation of uh, what's in your Pi menu. When you have a positive value on your motion speed, the menu will blink waiting for your mouse movement. Every time it fades, it's registering your mouse movement. For example, if you put this all the way up to one second, it will blink every one second waiting for your mouse movement to register. If you bring it all the way down to zero, it will be persistent and wait for you to click on one of the menus. Pixel distance will be easier to understand now because uh, this will determine the distance from the menus to your mouse position. So if I have a higher pixel distance here, the menus will pop up at a bigger distance from the mouse cursor. Two-way menus are an issue in Macintosh computers where, you, where clicking and dragging would not exit the menu. So I change the functionality to trigger the Pi menu again instead of click dragging. So now when you trigger a two-way menu to exit the slider mode, just trigger it again. Or if you trigger any other menu, it will exit slider mode. A way to cancel out the triggered Pi menu is to set one of the positions as a cancel position. So if I set one and say cancel, now when I trigger it, I can cancel it. And for future updates, you will no longer have to write down your slider or macro name when you set a position. A list will pop up and you can select what macro or slider you'd like to, to use for that position. Another thing I'm working on is that when you change a position, the name here will change as well, because at the moment you have to restart ZBrush to see the name change. To install, simply grab the provided Z startup folder and drag and drop on your Pixelogic ZBrush version where your Z startup folder is and place replace files in destination or if you're on a Mac press merge after you drag. If you're coming from previous versions and you already have some presets set up and when starting ZBrush if you get this error it's due to some code changes. You can fix this by looking at the message and checking out what preset is causing this issue. In my case, it's Pi A Array. So if I say OK, OK to that, skip ZBrush, and then come here to my ZPlex 64, go into Mad Pony Pi menu, and look for that Pi A Array. These are the presets that you have set up already. Simply delete that preset, and now when you start ZBrush, the error should be gone. You can avoid this error completely going to your ZPlug64 and deleting this folder before you install. You can get this plugin now at my Gumroad or Art Station. The links are in the description below. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.